Welcome to the Roger B. Crop channel. I'm your host, Roger B. Crop. Thanks for tuning in. So the question today is, is, why do people struggle to lose weight? Well, there's a couple of reasons. The main one is because we like to eat. Actually, kind of the reason, but so the body has a primary source of fuel and it comes from the stomach. When we eat and drink, food goes in the stomach and there it's reserved for fuel later. Kind of like a car when you put gasoline in a car and the car has gas to go. So our stomach is kind of like a balloon. When we eat, food goes into our stomach and then it's stored for later. It's the body's number one source of fuel. And then as we digest the food, our stomach slowly gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until it's empty. So after the stomach is empty, that's when the body burns fat because the number one primary source of fuel is not there. So then it goes to the second source of fuel, which is fat. You go work out at the gym and you eat and snack and eat and snack and continuously keep expanding the stomach, you will not burn fat. You could run a marathon and as long as there is food in the stomach, the body will not burn fat. There's some real struggles once the stomach gets empty. We get really, really hungry and get those hunger pains. However, no pain, no gain. Once the stomach is empty, then you start losing weight. So the concept of forcing our body into starvation mode if we reduce the amount of food we eat is kind of like a car with a full tank of gas. As the car uses up its fuel, and once it keeps using it up and gets less and less and less and there's less fuel, well somehow all of a sudden that car is now going to get better fuel economy and use less fuel or start storing that fuel. The, the body isn't like that. The body wants to use its primary source of fuel and that is from the stomach. The second source of fuel is stored fat. So once we get past the hunger pains and we have our stomach reduced, the body will start to use the stored fat as fuel and we will lose weight effectively. As we lose weight, our metabolism will actually increase and not slow down. There's this misconception that if we shrink our stomach down and we don't have a lot of food in our stomach, somehow our body's gonna go into reserve mode and we won't be able to lose weight. Well, in the next video, I'll explain how our metabolism actually increases when we burn fat. So thanks for tuning in today. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button and share this video with a couple of your friends. Because we like to eat, we like to eat, we like to eat, we like to eat, we like to eat.